In this video, I want to show you how you could rank the solubility of precipitates based on their molar solubility, or S. Here we have three precipitates, and I show the stoichiometry for each. We need the KSP for each of the precipitates because from the KSPs, we're going to set up problems like we did before and determine the S for each precipitate and the precipitate that has the highest S or the largest molar solubility is the most soluble and the precipitate that has the lowest molar solubility is the least soluble. Carry out the math like I showed you in the other videos to determine molar solubility and you'll get these three values for each of these precipitates based on their corresponding KSP values. And we see that barium fluoride is the most soluble and calcium oxalate is the least soluble. I highlighted the KSP values for these precipitates because I wanted to point something out. If you simply look at the KSP for each precipitate, you might be misled that the lowest KSP would be associated with the least soluble precipitate. And the largest KSP would be associated with the most soluble precipitate. That may not necessarily be true because the stoichiometry of the ions may complicate the math and lead to a different conclusion, as in the case of these three precipitates here. Lead iodine has the smallest KSP, but it is not the least soluble of these three precipitates. 